Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, I wanna talk all about the visual data prep public preview for data flows. Stay tuned. If you find this for the very first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the videos from both Adam and myself. Data flows, visual data prep. Patrick, you don't talk a lot about data flows. That's true. And I'm gonna start talking about it, but I saw this blog post about this new visual data prep and I just couldn't resist to go check it out. And after I checked it out, I was like, I got to do a video on this. So instead of all this talking, you guys know how I like to do, let's do what? Let's head over to my laptop. I started to create a data flow and then I was reading the blog post and now I wanna use this new visual data prep instead of using the old classic way. So all you need to do is click on view and then you'll see this button right here for diagram view. So go ahead and choose diagram view and then it'll take all my queries and you can see it as these relationships. We'll talk a little bit more about, about these relationships after I can finish my prep. So what I wanna do is I wanna get this all laid out the way I wanna lay it out. So you can see I have these little icons to help me lay it out. So these right here will allow me to expand my query so I can see all the steps. Before I expand them, you can take a peek and you can see there's additional steps and if you hover, you can see all of the steps right there. But I wanna expand it out so I can see everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and expand this out and now I can see all of it. And then you can actually use this little magnifier to zoom in, zoom out. Um, if I zoom in, I can use the reset to put it back how it was. I can say just fit, you know, fit to the view or I can just get rid of the, the data pane down at the bottom and show it that way, right? But I wanna, I want the data pane there and then I'm gonna tell it to fit to view. Now I have just the full landscape of everything I wanna see, right? This is nice. So the next thing you can check out is these step level actions. So I can right click on a step and then I can edit it, I can remove it, I can do you know everything that I can do from the context of the query steps. Or if it has a gear on it, if I hover over it and then I click the gear, now I can actually go and modify that step if I want to. This is great, I'm really excited about this. There's some other little things right here. If I click this, I can collapse the step and then I can expand it back out if I want to. So there's a lot of visual interaction built into this. If I just wanted to add another step to this one, if I click it, you can see there's my plus and boom, now I can add any step I want. I can merge, I can transpose, I can change data types. I can do all types of stuff. So now let's get to my data prep. I like to see the entire M query when I'm doing data prep. So I'm oftentimes I'm toggling between advanced, the advanced editor and then going back to the data view or, or my new diagram view right here. But now in this diagram view, what I can do is go all the way down here, you see step, I can click on step and by default, it's selected for step screen. If I choose a step, it'll actually show the corresponding M for that step. But I want to see the entire M query. So what I can do now is if I click right here and go to query designer, boom, right? Boom. There's my, all of my M. Look at that. I see the data, I see the M, and I see all of my queries and, you know, everything that I need to see. If I don't want to see the data, I can switch over to my schema view. This is getting better and better every time. Hey, Will Thompson, just an ax, my friend, just an ax. Are we gonna see this in the Power BI desktop? Hmm, inquiry minds would like to know. Back to my laptop. Now let's actually do some data prep. What I wanna do is, I don't wanna add another step to a query. What I'd like to do is merge two queries as a new one. Can you do that? Of course I can, watch this. I'm gonna click right here, I'm gonna click this one. And if I right click right there, merge is new or if I click on the ellipsis, I can say merge is new. Either way, it takes me to the same thing. I'm gonna choose product subcategory and then I wanna combine it with cat sub and I'm gonna choose product subcategory key from both of them, right? And then what's really cool and maybe, again, maybe this has been here for a long time, but you can see the join kind. Oh, these little Venn diagrams. This makes it so much easier. It provides an illustration of what I'm actually gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose left outer join because that's what I'm trying to accomplish. I click okay, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, and boom, it adds it. What's great is you can see if I hover right here, I can actually see the tables that are involved in this join and it tells me the number of tables that's there. And there's all types of little hovers and lots of information built into this. What I also like is you can expand 
and collapse just a single query, whereas opposed to you were doing them all, or I can highlight all of the related ones. Look at that, just by clicking this icon, if I hover over the little dot here, the little anchor on the end, it highlights it. If I click on the ellipses here, I can say highlight all of the related. That's pretty nice. If I click here, I can say also collapse them or expand them. Wow, I think this is gonna get the insane, amazing tag. This is bananas, I like, and I probably missed a few things along the way, but you guys get it. Go play with it, go kick the tires on, and you know what I'm gonna say, what do you think after you test it out? Have you tested it out? You know what to do, let's continue the conversation. Where? In the comments below. If it's your first time visiting the guy in the cube channel, hit that subscribe button, you like my video, the big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video.